Hello everyone and welcome to another Luigi's Mansion mod. So today we are going to be playing um, Luigi's Mansion. Wait for it to pop up. Project Reality. So it's pretty cool. It's one of those um, mods. A few of them actually do this. Uh, there's some ghosts over here. We actually have to go find the poltergust this time. And it's not as hard as it is to find um, the freaking one in Final Ghost Hunt. It's just right in this box right here. And we get our vacuum. And apparently it's called the Ghost Gus 96. So that's pretty cool. Um, but what I was saying was that they actually changed the model of Luigi to look sort of like his N64 version. And um, they also um, are doing the um, style of a haunted house of Big Boo's Haunts, which was a um, level that was in Super Mario 64 and Super Mario 64 DS and another really cool thing that they added um, was the vacuum um, when it sucks it's blue so that's pretty cool nice uh, ghost over here just like um, just like Mr. L's mansion they decided to make the ghosts appear in a room where they usually don't so that's pretty cool. And they also added um, a coin counter, which is another thing that I remember being in um, the Beta Mansion. They added that, so... First room we're gonna be going into is the typical first room that they have. I'm glad. And that's cool. Um, it looks like... It's called Cool Cool Mountain. That's pretty cool. They gave us the enhanced vacuum as well. That's pretty nice. These ghosts have 30 health, usually the, the strongest have 20. That's always cool, and the, the vacuum makes a different noise when you suck them up, I believe. That's a weird noise. These guys have 35, almost twice as much as they usually would have. Um, they usually would only have up to 20, I believe. There's some gold bars, some money in here. I assume we're going in here is the next room. There's some tables, a parlor. These guys have 50 in their purple instead of blue. Purple twirlers now, they look a lot more demonic as well. One thing that I had. Um, seen recently that I thought was just really stupid. Like, it made me think of that Tide Pods TikTok challenge that people were doing back in the day, I guess. Um, this one is even dumber than that. It's even more lethal. I'm freaking NyQuil Chicken. Like, why? why? Why would you do that? It just baffles me. Like, the, the first thing is, like, I've had NyQuil before from when I'm sick and stuff. Um, and it tastes awful. It really does. Like, I can usually barely hold down, like, a freaking shot of it. You're supposed to take, like, a single shot of that stuff. And people literally will cook their fucking chicken inside of it and just eat it like that. I, I watched this one video about a guy who did it or whatever, and... Um... He ended up literally... I'm pretty sure he died if he didn't, like, his liver shut down because of it. Because, if you guys don't know, I assume some of you guys did, but the liver, what it does is it just processes anything strange or alien inside of your your body so like let's say you drink alcohol or whatever your liver processes it and that's how that works you just got all three of them but your liver processes it and um this person like they put way too much in i think they drank like two freaking bottles of the shit Ni fucking nyquil overdose literally disgusting like i just can't fathom someone doing that because like, even the fumes enough when people cook their chicken in it would make it disgusting. Like, that's enough to literally kill somebody, I'm pretty sure. Like, just inhaling the fumes freaking will kill somebody. It's utterly disgusting. Just don't understand why somebody would do something that fucking stupid. Like, like I said, it's even dumber than Tide Pods because. With the Tide Pods, like, fucking guess, um, all that happens is they'll eat it or whatever, and then they, they bite right into it, they're like, oh, it's awful, it tastes like fucking soap. Um, but then they'll just spit it right out, 
Like, what'd you expect? It's, it's freaking soap. Literally, like, people, like, doing the NyQuil shit, they'll literally, like, have visu visual and audio, audio hallucinations, like, meaning that they'll think something is there when it isn't, or they'll hear something that's there when it's not. It's ridiculous. Like, I think there was some guy who thought he was hearing, like, church bells or fucking something like that. Or he was... I think he even hallucinated that his father came in the room or something, and that never even happened. So one thing that's cool is, um, when you catch a portrait ghost, when you're battling them, it'll play the, um... It's Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga theme, the battle theme. Found me, I feel so much better now. Please leave again, find it here, blah blah blah. Hope he's still alive. Just save the toad real quick. Um, I just think that's ridiculous. Like, people literally say crazy stuff. Like, they'll think that colors are coming at them or something, or they'll they'll think that um, a monster is gonna get them or some crazy stuff. Like, make me think of freaking PCP or something. Like, that makes me think of this one story that one of my friends told me, because they, they work with someone whose father is a police officer. And his father has seen some pretty crazy shit. I think, like, something about some guy, like, was naked on meth or some shit. I have no idea. Or some freaking dude, like, he took PCP and then he was running down the street naked and said something about, like, that stop sign is chasing me. Like, what the hell? Alright, I guess this is Shivers the Butler. And all, all we gotta do is just freaking suck him up and then nothing happens. We don't have to play. Usually, what you'd have to do is light the candle in the, the room, I mean in the hallway is where he resides, he resides within the hallway, he's just running down the hallway, like, doing nothing, and you just have to light him up, his candle on fire, and then he'll freaking sit on it. But this seems interesting, um, a little library. There's a book of apparition, will you read it? Yeah, sure, why not? Mysteries appear below the castle. Is it, sa it is said that he is waiting below the castle. So he sits waiting for his next victim, and then he will show them. Fun! Yeah. We found Mario's diary. Will you read it? Yeah, okay. The haunt is a lot different than how it- Oh, maybe I'll read it in Mario's voice. The haunt is a lot different than how it used to be. Now there is an evil spirit who patrol the halls. How long can I stay in here without being detected? I can hear the ghoulish laughter from the other side of this bookshelf. Help the pepper there. Luigi, you can hear this. Read this, I mean, and stay away from this cursed place. Now all I need to do is, oh no, stay away. Let's see what else there is. Uh, this is another Mario's diary entry. No, it's the same thing. Okay, no, I don't want to read it again. This book is called Darkness in the Haunts. Will you read it? Sure. Evil spirits are drawn to darkness and misfortune. In the dark they shine without contentment. I must try rid this haunt of me, of them. Sincerely, Mario. I didn't even know Mario was doing that. I sh should have read it in Mario's voice if he was. Alright. Into the next room. Let's go into um, Lydia's room for that. I think I noticed is that they have no doormats. And also this, um, bedroom is usually called, um, I believe the master bedroom, but they call it a bedroom A this time, but I, I believe it sort of looks a lot like the, the beta version, where it has two beds instead of just one, um, and there's like a wardrobe on the left, I believe. That's cool. Alright, now we're going to the baby's room. This time they don't have that demonic cry when after you unlock Lydia's room. Alright, there's already a bunch of ghosts waiting and this freaking rocking horse is going, but still the coins are there. Alright. I thought I was gonna get three of them at once, but um, I guess that's fine. 
At least I didn't get hit by that twirler dude. And one thing that I would um, add is that I believe that's actually what Shy Guy looked like without their mask on. They have um, like a black face and freaking yellow eyes. It's kind of creepy in my opinion. Some of our grabber ghosts. Let's see if I can get both of them at once. Yep. I can. Do the third one. Try to avoid him. Or at least they're not the ones that steal your money whenever they grab you. These don't even do damage to you. Kind of pathetic in my opinion. Still not as pathetic as the the garbage can ghosts, I'd at least say, because they don't even do anything. They literally throw ba drop banana peels at you, and if you don't freaking slip on them, you're not gonna nothing's gonna happen to you. <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. I suppose it makes me laugh about that. Because, I mean, I think there was a mod I played, actually, where they end up dropping... Um, what was it? They end up dropping poison mushrooms, which is interesting. And I guess in that mod, for some weird reason, the person modded it so that um, the poison mushrooms use like this unused poison animation that Luigi had where he ends up choking to death. It kind of looks creepy actually. Usually there's not ghosts in here so I guess that's kind of cool that they put some in here. And usually this would be the twins room. This ghost has 75 health but I guess it doesn't always matter. They can put them higher. But um, gonna, we have the enhanced vacuum and it's not even as good. There's still that monster poster over there. Suck that up. Try and wait for him to expose his heart. I don't even know what that kid is supposed to be doing. Like, literally flailing around. He's like, I don't want to go to bed. <laughs> One thing I always thought was weird was, like, after I capture this guy, I'll show you what happens. Like... For some reason, you can capture only one of the twins, and then it says you have both of them, which is really weird. Because, I mean, <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Oops, it's my keyboard, I just almost flipped that. Um, but I have no idea why it does that, why it says, oh, you caught the twins when you captured one of them. It doesn't make any sense at all. It'd be like if your car said it had four tires when you only had three of them. It doesn't, or it acted like you had four tires when it only has three, I guess. That's real weird. I guess this twin fight was even easier than the original, because, I mean, the original is pretty easy if you actually know what to do. Like, I think there's um, a book I didn't show off in my Let's Play or whatever where it alludes to the fact that, oh, they, they don't like to... Um, they get frightened or whatever, and they shake when you use the vacuum on them, and they try to play hide-and-seek. So, yeah, that alludes to that. But, um, I already just knew that, I guess, because I... I think I like watched a Let's Play by somebody else years before I even owned the darn game. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. But yes. Alright, so we're going into Area Door now to Area 2. It's been shorter than it has been in frickin' um, usual to get to Area 2. And alright, I guess this time what we're usually supposed to do is go in the bathroom. But this time we go in the, um... One of the second to last rooms of the area. I guess it's unlocked for us already, though. That's convenient. It's always cool um, with mods, because they can literally put the rooms in like any order they want. They can essentially make you start with King Boo's room if they really want to. I've never seen any mods do that, but I mean, it is possible. That's creepy. A giant snowman face. It's like, I'm gonna get you. Alright. I guess sometimes the ghosts they have like weird spawn points, like they will only appear if you go somewhere. To, if you if you go somewhere, I guess. Um, kind of like in um, I believe the the hidden pal mansion where one of the ghosts like on the roof. I guess he only appears if you try to exit the room or something. It's kind of strange. I don't know why it does that. Freaking my favorite ice physics it makes everything fun. Yeah. Freaking ice physics are the worst. I grab more of these guys. And I don't even get the chance to move out of the way. That's very fair. Yeah, and that guy just walks right into me. It's 
pretty cheap. Yeah, and again, he just decides to walk right into me. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna purse so I don't freaking die. Pretty stupid. No! I hate you. So I'm walking into that campfire doesn't kill us. Logic. You freaking you get punched by people that don't exist. They're made of ectoplasm. But um, a campfire hurts you somehow. And more some booze. They don't even they have fifty health each, I suppose. They don't even act like normal booze. You just use the the regular C stick, you don't even have to use both joysticks at the same time to kill them. I still don't know why this game always does this. It's always, this is how you fight enemies, and it says, freaking tilt the joystick in the opposite direction. The ghost is pulling you, and that's what I do every single time. But it's always like, nope, sorry, ghost broke away. Like, it doesn't make any sense. It would be like if food, food said it, it didn't give you diabetes, and you ate it, and it did. This doesn't make sense to me. I guess this is Sir Weston. Somehow he's a million times easier to capture than the actual Sir Weston. It was like the one ghost in the game, um, the one portrait ghost in the game, where in my Let's Play I literally tried off camera to capture him for like 40 minutes and I couldn't do it so like get a gold on him so I just said frick it and I decided to um, just, I just said forget it and I just decided to get a silver so I could move on with it. No, that's not Mario, that's a door. I, just, I wish you could use the GBH camera in this game. Um, this mod, I mean, because for some reason they don't have it implemented. Because I was hoping to have Luigi scan the fridge again and say, I'm willing to bet something cold's in there. So, for some reason they just put the word food, like, on a box, and they're like, oh, that's what's in here. Just in case you weren't sure what goes in a fridge, it's food, everybody. I thought it was dead rat carcasses and fucking condoms. That's what I for sure thought it was. I don't know what this dude is. Okay, some ghosts, they don't even do anything. They just expose their health right away. It's weird. This guy has as much health as a boss ghost. But when I'll catch him, it doesn't even show that he's a boss ghost. I just have Neville, Lydia... Shivers, the twins, freaking Sir Weston. I guess this room's kind of cool. They have freaking psychedelic mushrooms in here or something. And then Mario and Luigi's hats. And then whatever this thing is. <laughs> freaking. Yeah, for some reason he doesn't even eat his food. Or there, he, there he does eat the food. Um, yeah. Not a no. Not a better night to eat food, freaking, like in a in a courtyard. This I do that all the time. I'll I'll go outside and eat my food. Something I'd always do. But that haircut they gave me sort of looks like Nikocado, the freaking dude who used to weigh like 150 pounds and now he's like three times the amount, two times the amount, I guess. There's some weird stuff that he's done, like, on camera. There's literally a video, like, of him shitting himself, like, on camera. Like, I remember one of the things he said was, he was like, Guys, I think I just pooped my pants. I'm like, what the fuck? Cut, turn off the camera then if you cramped yourself. Like, don't tell people that you shit yourself. That's fucking weird. Like, nobody needs to know that. That's disgusting. Even though that's this guy's belly button, this sort of looks like his dick. I think that's... I don't know why, but it just sort of looks like it. But, yeah, anyway, I guess she. It says, like, oh, um, that area is unlocked, because normally it'd be a doghouse instead of a big fucking fat chain chomp. But, um, since you can't use the GBH camera, see, I'm pressing the button. 
it's not even doing anything. So, it's interesting. Yeah, imagine he's not, this guy just doesn't even live in the mansion. He's just a freaking homeless person. He's just a homeless person eating his food outside. Is the fridge not gonna open? I just wanted to prove that this is food. Yeah, I guess it doesn't open. Whatever. Next room is normally um, Melody's room, so uh, go and see. shit. Hate ice physics. Freaking hate him. Oh, and I just noticed this is kind of cool. Um, okay, there's booze in the hallway for some reason. No health whatsoever. Um, it says on the bottom, it says Game Boy Reality. So that's pretty cool. I don't even know why this is called Project Reality. Somehow there's mice on the ceiling, because that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, guys. So you were the Luigi, the lesser brother of the great Super Mario. Well, I wouldn't say that. He poked his nose where it didn't belong, now he's with us. How about we booze? Show him a good time. Will Red ever step in with a, a good time? Are they, are they gonna suck Mario's, Luigi's dick? Is that what happens? That's usually what people mean when they say a good time. It makes me think of that freaking episode of Family Guy where Peter accidentally milks a bunch of male goats. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, like, he says something about, like, oh, we have, we have, um, we got milk from all the goats now. And he goes, and he goes, like, Lois says, like, hey, that those goats are male. And then he says, well, the goats are happy, and I guess, um, he goes, well, I guess all the goats are happy now. And then some, it shows a goat, like, on the, the toilet or whatever, and he looks at the wall, and it says, like, for a good time, call this number. <laughs> he takes a picture of it, he's like, I like some good times. <laughs> I just think that's the most random thing ever, like, what, why? I can never get that image out of my head. Looking Peter Griffin milking a goat's tank. Yay. Very interesting. Glad they gave us the enhanced vacuum. These boos are very annoying, and they will just fucking smack into me over and over again. There's like 20 of them. There's like 10 of them in this damn room. Not at the same time, but we have to catch like 10 of them. There's like three waves, I'm pretty sure. Annoying. Got like one health left. Kill him. All right. I think after this, there's like one more wave, and then I'm pretty sure it's over. Look the crazy piano over there. I almost got all of them. Fuck. I was gonna say I almost got all of them at once, but I didn't. And I guess for some reason the music just cuts out and then takes a minute to start over. It's weird. And again, it seems like, like I said, nobody playtests these things and just send it out to the public. It's like freaking Cyberpunk 2077, where I, I asked for it like a couple years ago, and I recently I got it when I, I finally figured out it was actually patched because I wanted it. And I remember I think like GameStop was selling the game for literally like half or a quarter of the price just because the, the game was like a shitty, broken mess. Like, I never played it when it was a mess, but I think they had, like, a 40 gigabyte patch or something, like... I guess it's nice that they can at least do that, because, I mean... Like, I'm, I could imagine that maybe games would actually be decent, like, on... Like, the really crappy ones on the NES or something, or the Atari, or, like, E.T. I'd imagine it could actually be pretty decent, um... If... They had like a patch, like after they're like, oh, the game sucks, they're like, oh, we'll just patch it and fix it, then it'll be easy. Alright. Next room is um, actually one of the first rooms that we'd go into in Area 2. What is this, a freaking camp? What's going on? Metal cap cavern, I guess. Yeah, so some of these are based off of areas from 64. I've never 
I've never played much of Mario 64, honestly, so um, I don't really know much about the game. So I, I, don't, I didn't even think I really got to, I don't even think I got to Metal Cap Cavern or anything like that. I think I've got to like maybe some of the first few areas, and that was kind of it. The game just didn't really appeal to me, and some people are like, it's the best Mario game ever. I just remember some people have said that, and I think it isn't. It's not very good at all. I don't like it. I guess at the time, it was revolutionary or whatever, because it was the first ever 3D Mario game. I had never seen anything like that, I guess, at the time, on the N64. I mean, some games... At that point, it tried to make a 3D perspective, but just didn't do the best. Still better than Superman 64, though, I'd say. Freaking, maybe I should play that game one day. What the hell was that? <laughs> this supposed to be the grandma? Yep, this is the grandma, but it looks like some guy with a freaking... It's like one of those beef eater things, which... I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, but... They're like the, the Queen's Royal Guards, and they, they just, they're supposed to sit there motionless, and they can't, like, laugh or smile or anything. Which is pretty funny. I think uh, there's, like, a whole compilation on YouTube of people making the beef eater people laugh. I've seen it before, I think. Um, it makes me think of what happened in some movie, I'm pretty sure, where some beef eater dude literally gave somebody like a sandwich it was pretty weird i don't know why they did that they were just like he is a sandwich pretty interesting the queen actually passing away sort of makes me think of something that happened um, a while ago a year or so ago i had, um, had talked to on xbox to this one dude i know he's from south wales and, um, I told him that the Queen passed away, this is before she actually did pass away, and he was like, Oh no, the Queen passed away, I can't believe it! And he sort of sounds like an or whatever. Not really, I haven't spoken to him in a while. So, um, I don't really know, but he sort of sounds like him. Then when I told him that he got all upset and was like, I can't believe the queen died, no, I can't believe it, that's crazy. And then he um, looked it up on Google and then he was like, you're lying, the queen's fine. And then this time when I told him, like, after the queen actually passed away, uh, this time she didn't even live to 100, I'm surprised, honestly. thought she was going to literally outlive everybody, like, outlive me, I thought, I thought she was going to be 150 or something. We all thought, I'm pretty sure. Um, but no, she ended up dying at 96. It reminds me of what happened to Betty White. She also died um, around that time. I mean, I think she was 99 years old, actually. I'm trying to see what the next room is. Uh, I got the key, and I don't think it's really telling me where I should go, though. Try seeing if there's anything in the basement. Um, but this time, when I told him the queen died, he was like, Yeah, right, I don't believe you. And then I go Google it, and he's like, Holy shit, she did die. You went lying this time. I was like, Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> it's pretty funny, though. Uh, there's, oh cool, golden mouse. There's so many freaking memes about it where, um, it's literally just like the queen was there like when the Big Bang Theory happened and everything. The queen was there when the Big Bang Theory TV show happened. Um, it's pretty true. Anyways, I'm starting to think that, um, now that we've done all this stuff or whatever, and it doesn't seem like there's any other rooms unlocking that 
we might have actually finished the demo, so... Shut up. Stupid bird. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we did, actually. Seems like... That bathroom still says, oh, it's occupied. So I guess um, that means that this is over now, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> and uh, the heads are Luigi. But I mean, I guess that is the end of the Project Reality demo, so hope that they get this project completed, because I know some of them don't, like Super Mario Galaxy 2 and a half, that never got finished. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, and have a good day.